is outside. We're talking to a local pediatrician about heat related illnesses. She encourages you to know the signs of it and teaches us how to prevent it. They um, can't sweat as easily and they also lose, uh, you know, they, they can't maintain their body temperature as well as adults. Children's of Alabama pediatrician Dr. Amy McCollum says children are more susceptible to heat related emergencies than adults due to having smaller body mass to surface ratios. She says the summertime presents several challenges. We have a higher um, just actual ambient temperature, but um, in the south we deal with humidity issues and um, a high humidity makes it hard harder for us to sweat. With temperatures likely to climb into the mid 90s this week, Dr. McCollum warns everyone watching over children to be alert as signs of heat exhaustion can be subtle. They might feel a little lightheaded or dizzy. Um, they might feel that their heart is racing a bit. They may feel nauseous. That's really important to pay attention to. She says there may also be cramping in their arms and legs. To enjoy being outside safely, Dr. McCollum says limit activity to early mornings and evenings when it's cooler outside and be sure to stay hydrated. Really pay attention to water intake. Um, for athletes, they actually recommend a water break every 15 to 20 minutes and taking in four to eight ounces of, of a electrolyte containing fluid during these hot times of the day. Now, Dr. McCollum says heat stroke is a more severe form of heat exhaustion. If your child is vomiting, has severe muscle cramps, confusion and slurred speech, seek emergency care immediately.